Okay, we've gotten to one of the most exciting parts, creating a repeat. This one is going to be a simple half drop repeat pattern. So I'm going to show you how to do a basic half drop repeat with doing very, very little math. I have a motif here on the screen. I'm in Photoshop and I have the grid shown, show, and I hit show all. And so everything's hit. And then I also have snap on. I know that this is an 18 inch square. And so I made my whole page 36 inches. I just doubled that. And this is going to be a half drop repeat with no overlap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer, Command J, and I'm going to slide this down by holding the Shift key. It keeps it in line with the column and I just slide it down until I see that pink and it lights right up. And I'm going to vary this. I'm going to do Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal. So there's a little variation. By overlapping repeat, I mean I would bring it up and it would overlap the other one. This is going to be a simple repeat with no overlap. Now I'm going to hit Command J and copy that. And I'm going to take this transformed motif that is flipped horizontally and I'm going to put it in the middle on the right side of those two. So I can see when it matched up by, so, because those pink lines showed up because I have the snap on. Now I'm going to go back to the first motif. I'm going to copy that. Command J, put it one over it. Make sure it's along the edge and all matched up. Command J, copy that again. Hold the shift key down, slide it down to underneath the other one. And there I have a simple repeat created. Now I'm going to do view show none. Okay, so we could see it. And then I'm gonna do edit, define pattern. I'm gonna test this. To make sure I made no mistakes. Okay, so now I'm gonna click the paint bucket because that's where the pattern is. And I'm gonna choose the last motif that I created. And I'm just gonna dump it on here by clicking the sheet. Here it comes. And there you can see that I have no breaks in the pattern. And what I did was I made it this, the whole repeat was 36 inches and I made this one 42. So you could see if there was any break anywhere. Now it's time for you to take that really great motif that you created before and put it into repeat. Let's see that in class projects. And on the next video, we're gonna do half drop repeats with an overlap.